Hi, Sequels friends. Um, so I'm not a person who normally feels very comfortable eating or drinking on camera, but today is the day, y'all. Today, I'm having some freshly brewed coffee. Mmm, so good. Thanks, Brent. And also some cookies. And why are we having coffee and cookies? Well, because I found, and maybe this is just a chubby girl antidote, but I find that all information, even bad information, can go down well with coffee and cookies in hand. What bad information, you ask? Ah, yes. Today is the day we talk about December sales. friends if you are new here my name is Heather and I am a part-time reseller across various online platforms and I use this YouTube channel to document my journey specifically my new journey which is revamping my slowly dying reselling business why is it dying that is because I have done nothing dramatic with it over the last nine months to a year while I was working outside of the home if you saw my last two sales recaps for October and November, you know that I have started off strong. I have listed a bunch of stuff in my death pile and I ended up putting in my pocket at least $1,000 each of those months, which is pretty impressive because the last month before I started revamping my business, I had made a measly $50 in reselling. Then comes December. Overall for the month of December, I sold 39 total items um, and my total sales, that is everything, including everything, all the money that I brought in was $1,235.71. Those are gross sales. Net sales, you have to take out shipping costs, platform fees, um, and cost of goods. So once that is taken out, I ended up actually putting in my pocket, being able to move over to my bank account, $822.19. That's about a 23% decrease from the numbers that I was bringing in for October and November. Um, and as of last year, it is actually an increase because last year I made $542.48 versus the 822.19. So not really on the track with where I have been since I've started revamping my business, but definitely better than I was at last year. Overall, my ROI came in at 67%. That is my return on investment. That means if I make $100, then chances are I'll put 67 of those dollars in my pocket. And my average sale price, I'm really happy to report, came in at $21.08 over my average sale price goal of trying to make an average of a minimum of $20. Let's go talk about sales by um, category and sales by platform. As per usual, let me put up my handy dandy spreadsheets. Here is our sales by category. You can see all the categories listed um, that I sell as well as the number of units I sold and the, the amount of dollars I've sold and the percent to totals. Overall, um, I've highlighted in SQL Pink, SQL's Pink, the um, performing categories. I sold jackets pretty well, bringing in 7% of the total units on 9% of the total dollars. It's always great when your dollars are over your units because that means you're making money with this category and it is definitely time to be selling some jackets. Next up are shoes. Shoes is always a really good performing category for me and it's picked up because I just got a thread up shoe box which you may have seen the unboxing for. Um, overall I sold 11% of my inventory in shoes and 26% of the total dollars and you'll see why as there was a pretty high price pointed sale in that category. And then last up is tops. Tops is always in the tops of all of my categories. They perform well, but they do not make me a ton of money, but it is a necessary evil to the business um, to move goods that don't necessarily reap a lot of um, financial success. Um, and I did 11% of the total units on 5% of the total dollars. So let's talk about sales by platform. Put up handy dandy spreadsheet number two and same strategy 
listing the unit sales by platform as well as the dollar sales and seeing which is the best performer. And the best performer by far this month was eBay. Could be because of the sales, could be because eBay is usually my best performing platform and maybe I'm getting back to my normal trajectory that I was on before. But I ended up doing 44% of my total sales on eBay and 47% of my total dollars. Another reason may be Poshmark just like died for me in December. It just died. It just became non-existent for a couple of weeks without having a single sale. Like it was weird. It was, it could very likely just be me. I know that us resellers will um, try to find reasons for things when there's not always reasons there, but it would put my mind at ease to know if anybody else experienced that. <laughs> um, on Poshmark, I did 28% of the total sales on, or on 28% of the total units. Next up was Macari. Macari, I did see a nice little increase during holiday and um, it ended up doing about 18% of my total business. And then I had one tablecloth sale on Facebook. All right, so let's get to something a little bit more exciting, which would be talking about our Bolo items. So these are the items that sold in the month of December and put in my pocket at least 20 bucks. And the order here is just based on the order that they sold. And I gotta tell you, it took me until the 8th of December before I made any sale that net me over 20 bucks. And that sale was just this, these Theory Knit Cashmere Jogger Pant. I got these at the bins and I paid $1.59 for them. Um, I was hoping to make anywhere between $79 and $124. And I ended up selling these on Macari. Macari. I never have a high price sales on Macari. It's usually a good place to get rid of some bread and butter items. But this sale actually came from Macari. And I sold them all in for $95 and ended up making $80.44. These Olakai flip-flops. These were from another recent Ben's trip. And again, I rarely, if ever, find shoes in the bins. So this was super exciting, not only to find a saleable pair of shoes in the bins, but to find Olakai and genuine leather. These flip-flops were in a size 11. I was hoping to make anywhere between $49 and $59 on them. And I ended up selling them on eBay all in for $58.99 and put $37.81 in my pocket. Now here is one of those pickups that you pick it up, not necessarily based on brand, although if this is a Bolo brand, you guys let me know in the comment section below, because I picked this up entirely for material. It is a men's structure. Structure, is structure even still a thing? I don't know. I remember my mall day structure. It is a structure black linen button front shirt in a very saleable XXL size. I sold this on Poshmark. I bought it at the bins. It cost me $1.59. I sold it on Poshmark all in for $34. I was hoping to make 19 to 34, sold it all in for 34 and put 2561 in my pocket. And I just thought this was gorgeous. That lovely, colorful, floral embroidery border is just so stunning. And it's really giving boho cottage core vibes. So I had to pick this up when I found it in the bins. It cost me a whopping $1.89 that bin strip. Um, I was hoping to make between $29 and $34 with this piece. I sold it on eBay all in at $34.19 and put $20.51 in my pocket. Next up, I showed you this in my Helpsy video. It is um, a Heart Moon Star Long Paisley Velvet Jacket. I love this jacket. It is so gorgeous. The velvet, the paisley, the warm tone colors, but I gotta be honest, I was very disappointed as it was missing three buttons and all three are made of this pink suede. So there was no chance in me replacing the buttons. Because of that, because of the brand name being Heart Moon Star, also not 100% sure if it is true vintage. It is a Y2K look, but I'm not sure if it was true vintage. So I listed it lower and was hoping to make $39 to $59. Well guys, I think it may have been a mistake because it sold very, very quickly a day or two after listing 
for the full asking price of $59. And this also sold on Macari. Look at you, Macari. And I ended up putting it in my pocket after the $389 cost of goods and platform fees, $46.77. Do you guys think I could have gotten some more money for that? Let me know what you would have listed it for in the comments below. These Stuart Weitzman nude pony toe pumps were gifted to my reselling business by a friend, so no cost of goods for me. I was hoping to make anywhere between $79 and $99. Um, but when somebody offered me $84 for them on Poshmark, I said, heck yeah. And I took that and I ended up putting in my pocket $67.20, not too bad. Speaking of Stuart Weitzman, here's another Stuart Weitzman shoe. I have had these forever. They came in a thread up box way before I, I, I think they were the last thread up shoe box I opened before I started working. Um, and then started neglecting my reselling business. And they are over the knee suede boots. I know over the knee boots are kind of not on trend, but we also know there's plenty of people who love skinny jeans, oversized sweaters, and over the knee boots. So I was hoping that these would move. Um, I had them, I paid $5.70 for them, like I said in the thread up box. I had them listed for $179 to $249 based on comps at the time I listed that, and I really think those comps were too high. When somebody offered me $186.75 all in, including shipping on eBay, I took the offer and put $141.99 in my pocket. This um, came out of my personal closet. This is a funny story. These are my favorite types of things to sell. Um, I purchased this sweater at a thrift store. Couldn't have paid more than five bucks for it. When I first moved to North Carolina and I have been here now for 10 years. Um, it's a little bit smaller on me than I would like. So as I do, if I grow out of something, I put it up in my closet. And if I grow back into it, I take it out. And I figured if it hasn't sold, it was meant to be. And if it sells, then it goes to its new home. Well, that is exactly what happened with this one. It went to its new home. So I listed it based on comps. I was hoping to get $29 to $49 for it. And I ended up taking an offer for $38 on Poshmark and putting it in my pocket $30.40, which is hilarious that I spent $5 on a sweater, wore it for 10 years, and then still sold it and made $30 on it. That is my favorite part of reselling. And on something that isn't a huge bolo brand like just Ann Taylor Loft, but it is a really cute sweater. <laughs> I found this um, jacket in the bin, so I paid $1.85 that bin's trip. I was hoping to make between 29 and 39 because this is Fog by London Fog, so it's not the higher end brand and it's not vintage, but just that green color and the belted silhouette I figured would do well. Um, somebody purchased it on eBay all in at $44.24 and I put $27.63 in my pocket. This is Obermeyer, a quarter zip um, mock neck long sleeve fleece. Again, an item that was gifted to me by a friend for my reselling business. I was hoping to make between $29 and $49. Somebody offered me $36.99 all in on eBay. This is now $12.21. So pretty much at this point, if you're offering me money for anything that's in my closet, I am accepting that offer. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Please help me make some money because I knew at this point I was not gonna make my December numbers. So I took the offer for $36.99 all in and put in my pocket $23.41. These lovely Tory Burch Reva Ballet Flats, you will recognize from my recent Thread Up shoe box unboxing. These were actually the shoes that I put on the thumbnail of that video, as I suspected the classic ballet silhouette and then being Tory Burch, that they would be the first item that sold out of that box, and they most certainly were. Um, I was hoping to make between $49 and $69 on these shoes, but when somebody offered me 50, as I said before, we're getting to the end of December, I'm taking the money. So I took the $50 offer and ended up putting in my pocket $33.58 after platform fees and the $642 cost of goods. 
And that is it. Those are the big old bolos for the month of December. Like I said, some pretty solid bolo sales. Sold a lot of bread and butter, um, but just not what I would call a ending fourth quarter strong by any means. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.